Identify yourself, please. How long have you been an artist? I have been painting since the age of 14 and I'm presently 52. 52? Yes. So, how many pieces have you got? It's all over the world. Yeah. So you have to go. Where is it? Where is it? Okay. Let me follow you. Go ahead. Okay. Don't cover it. Just point at it and and talk about it. Yeah. This piece was done in 2006. It's a piece in the Tiger Paria. It was actually done part on site, part was done at home. The the mm -hmm. There's a good that we call a mot mot. A what? Mot mot. Mot mot. Related to our insect or anything? Okay. Any other pieces belong to you? Okay, I'm following you. Okay. Presently, these are all my pieces here. All? Yeah. Alright. Tell me about starting from the top. Tell me about it. Pigeon Point. This was done in 2014. That's like Tobago? Tobago. This was an imaginative composition. And below it's textual and base. Okay. Right? Above this is the title. These are two macaws. This is the title. Also, this is Ask him if you could put on more lights. More lights. Also, this is QRC. Uh -huh. so for, 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 for those on the live stream, what does QRC mean? Queen's Royal College is one of the magnificent seven. Okay. Right? For the Spain. For the Spain. And also, I have two other pieces to the back. Okay, can I follow you? Yeah. in terms of the piece with regards to the local jumbies mm -hmm. and where it originated from. Oh, okay, so I wanted to 
Alright, so what was the inspiration in terms of actually becoming an artist? Um, well, I started in visual arts in secondary school. Um, I did it only up to four or five. Um, so I, I think then I found the passion to do more painting and media. I also did some five hundred crafts, but I mostly enjoyed the painting and media. Alright. So today is World Art Day in terms of recognition and appreciation for artists such as yourself. What message do you want to let everybody know and the world know, particularly your, your country, Trinidad and Tobago, how much more they should appreciate the artists in terms of their expression? I think that, especially as a group, we need to come out here and see these places. It's more than making the eyes. Um, and if you look at this piece, you literally see so much detail. All right, so any final words before we wrap your interview? <laughs> no, happy World Art Day. International, happy World Art Day. Happy International World Art Day. <laughs> so, we're going to start so, right now we're live on the Hollis Clifton page at the Creative Arts Center and we're interviewing artists who are here for World Art Day and we're handing the microphone to another artist so tell us your name and a bit about yourself okay, well, my name is Lola Spencer mm -hmm. and I am a self-taught artist mm -hmm. I've been painting from since around doing myself this is something that I Also have a piece on also um is it crazy? Yes. It's crazy. Okay. Also another tree piece. Two different right. Just bring out the different types of textures here. So what are some of your challenges in terms of first coming up with an idea to create something like this? Is that an idea, a thought? Is it you copying from a photograph? Does it come from memory? Well some of my paintings is just imaginative and then some again I will see something and just fall about it and wish that could be Day, do you feel that you as artists you'll get true recognition or do you feel there's more needs to be done for you all to be recognized as artists? What are some of the challenges that you all have as artists and what you feel that the one, two, three is could be done to improve your expression and visibility within this space? Yes, I do believe that there are challenges as you know, amateur artists or artists on a whole of the Final words. Um, my final words is to encourage any and everyone, especially to have the gift of painting or art, very artistic. We don't do all that for yourself, and we know sometimes we make a tough which we learn as artists, and we have a place of for you to be seen and heard. So, my way to you is if you love it, just go at it and start it. So what do you think about the art space and the gallery for today? What do you tell persons who haven't come out yet to see it? What do you tell them? Oh, I don't need to come down and view all these beautiful paintings, giftings of these artists. It is phenomenal. I am captivated as an artist from someone who does it here, so you need to come down and look at these paintings. Alright. So 
Mrs. Banker, so we'll get your name again. My name is Lagoon Benzik and my signature name is Martina. So we also know that you have a, a junior artist in your midst. Yes. Could we have him come in and let's have a little conversation with him as well? In terms of that. So stay with mommy. Because he also has stuff exhibited his face as well. So tell us your name. Malakai Batista. And tell us in terms of what about art do you like? What's one of your favorite pieces that you like to do as an artist? Wait, hello? The next? So this is a piece I believe that he would have done. So tell me about this piece that you did, that you painted. Pull it up, let's see it. From the moon. So what were you trying to paint there? What were you painting? Love painting. So when you grow up, you want to be a big artist, like mommy. So what some of the paintings they like from mommy? You like work? You like to see mom, mommy work? Yes. <laughs> All right. So we will we were gonna cut this live, and we'll come back and have another interview with some other artists on the inside. We're on the Hollis Clifton page right here, celebrating World Art Day at the Creative Arts Center. And the exhibition is on, running from 11 to 6 p.m. from today all the way to Sunday. So we'll be right back. You're doing well. Mr. Fred, how much money have you in the bank? <laughs> Are we going live? So we're back here at the Creative Arts Center celebrating World Arts Day here at the Creative Arts Center with the exhibition opening this morning and running from now until the 21st of April. So we have another artist on the inside, so introducing your name and give us a bit of a story behind the work, your artwork that is behind you. Okay, my name is Minta. Just drawing and painting at the early tender age of 10, 12. And then I graduated to doing copper work, uh, copper metal, metal brass work, copper work, doing work in, in relief forms and sometimes three dimensional. Right? So um, I live at Vista Bella in San Fernando. Senior White Tip, White Tip. White Tip. And um, San Fernando Senior Comprehensive. And then after that, I also taught at the National Center for Persons with Disability. Tell me something about the artwork behind you, the inspiration and the one, the artwork behind you. Okay. This piece here, I call it Boost. It was done in 2023 in the, um, the program run by the ministry. Uh, mentoring with the masters. Um, it is a piece that I call burst. Um, as you see, it's, it, it is in acrylic and it has a piece of brass, pieces of brass with stuck, stuck on it. I call it burst because I tried to get um, like a rainbow kind of thing to the top and then the whole thing was just 
burst out into like splashes of light. So you see all the different colors, the green and the blue and the whatnot, just bursting out. Right? So what was the inspiration behind creating such a piece like this? Um, the inspiration in creating such a piece behind this, at first, really, I didn't know what I was doing. So I just decided just to, and it just, you know, the idea just came to, and it, it started like, you know, just splashes, and then not knowing what I was really doing, I just, just paint all over, and it just happened to come out like that. As so, a, and what encouraged you to do the mixed medium of including um, the things of that material, had that hard material as well as mixing the acrylic and the paints, combining it all into one piece? What I, was the inspiration? Actually, too, when I was doing it, um, it's actually my teacher, um, Shastri Maharaj, who actually knew that I could do um, copper work and it actually. Um, inspired me to put brass or some metal that could actually bring the piece up. So it's only after doing the painting, he, he, he showed me that. And then I, I, I put the brass to, to give it that lift. Wonderful. So talk to about the other piece that is actually below, the other piece below. This piece below here, I call it flow. Right? Um, some people would say, you know, I did, again, being abstract, I just didn't know what, what I was doing, and I just splashed the paint on it different. But I splashed the paint on, right? If you notice, my teacher, my teacher, Mr. Shastri Maharaj, gave the instruction to, to use colors that would actually, you know, um, three colors or whatever. And I came up with this purple, and everything just started to flow right through the painting, mm -hmm. right? In the circle here, the circle represents like the sun, mm -hmm. right? And you're looking down and there's like a river just flowing, going. So what do you, what do you call this piece? What's the name of this piece? Flow. Flow. Yeah. All right, so it's just multiple energies and using uh, a limited amount of color and it, it tilts and turns to create this effect. Yeah, that's The right. centerpiece is also, is like a sun or something in the center yeah. there, in terms of that. So, where can we find your work outside of just the art exhibition? Um, actually, for a while, for a while now, I've been just doing work around the country. And most times I will be at craft shows, um, coming up in a, what is called the black market, up in Laventil. Most times I will be up in Laventil for San Fernando here sometimes at the library. So I intend to, for the emancipation that is coming up this year, I intend to bring out some pieces in Copper Room at the library in San Fernando. So in closing, tell us in terms of since you've been involved in the creative aspect, of what do you think are the one, two, threes that still needed to make a greater understanding and appreciation of the visual artists in Trinidad and Tobago as we celebrate World Art Day today? As we celebrate World Artist Day today, I think that, um, you know, I would want to really encourage um, more people getting into art. Because art is such a wonderful thing that brings out a spirit in it. Art is really, it, 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 it's like a, 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 sometimes when I'm creating stuff, it's like a, just like a spirit that comes out of nowhere, like you're pulling stuff out of the air and you're just doing it. Like at one time I was doing a piece and uh, I have a video camera and I turn the video camera on myself. And it's like, I am at the table beating the scupper. And it's like, you know, uh, it's only after I, I did the whole piece and I'm looking at the video. Every time you, the, 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 the piece is turned, the cup of is turned, it's like, there was just this flow, and like my hands was just flowing into the, the piece and doing it. So you know, art, it brings out that kind of spirit. It's a spirit. And sometimes, as I say, things just come out of the air and you just, you know, keep going. And, um, and sometimes in doing work, 
as I'm listening to the piece of music you have here, that given me a little um, calm so that I could think, you know. So sometimes I use music to, to inspire myself, to, to lift myself out of boredom or out of, I guess, create. Do you think that art is something that needs to be more seen in invisible spaces within cities and spaces and stuff? Yes. Yes. I'm seeing, I'm seeing that, yes. And what is your general view of the exhibition today at the Creative Arts Center? Very well planned out. I love the most of the pieces. You know, the pieces are, are well created. Looking at it, right? You know, so... Um, Abstract work is 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 really thought of, thought about, and you can see the artists most most of the artists that coming out with the creative. creative. So, in final, what my final message you like to leave anyone here in terms of World Art Day, and also in terms of appreciating artists and their work. Well, what I would say to that is, uh, you know, it's it's not it's a. Uh, it's a question that um, I would answer in such a way that people need to really see more art and people coming, you know, to the art shows. I find we, we, Trinidad in, in itself is, is not as yet, what I should say, totally ready for the artists. So we need to encourage people to come out and, and, and see art encourage our artists to do more. Thank you very much, Mr. Wayne Perth. He's on the inside on Hollis Clifton page as we celebrate World Art Day at the Creative Arts Center. Exhibition runs from 11 a.m. to 6 p.m. daily and will conclude on Sunday, the 25th of April. So come on down to the Creative Arts Center and witness some of these amazing artists on display on celebration of World Art Day. Maybe right back. Was it okay with the interview, Mr. Perrot? Yeah. What about Hazel Ross Perrot, bro? Hazel Ross Perrot. Hazel Ross Perrot. I saw her about. I saw her when did I see her? 